When I was in high school, my favorite teacher was Mr. Wabowski. By then it was because he never got angry with our chatty group of girlfriends. We thought that either he couldn't hear well or he didn't really bother with us. But right now I understand that I really admired his teaching method. When we were to do a physics experiment, uh, he put us in the position of a real scientist. He didn't instruct us on what to do. Let's say, let's say we have to prove that the water's density of, is one. He said, you have all these tools on the table. Now, try to find the density of water. He didn't really give us a method to follow, and he challenged us to come up with our own method. I find this a bit similar to the concept of tabula rasa. It's a condition where you have a blank state of mind no prejudice or effect by the past experience or knowledge. And as a young designer, I find myself most creative when I'm in that state. Now I will give you an example. It was three years ago when I stumbled upon a Japan-based design competition on the internet by a company called Felissimo. And they said, design a new pencil case for our set of 500 colored pencils. Now, uh, when, when you read a pencil case, it already defines an object, so it might actually lead to a wrong start for a designer. The mind immediately focuses on what has already been designed, and you start to remember like all the pencil cases you saw in your life. So if I really want to create something new, I have to go back in time, and I have to be in the blank state of mind where there were no pencil cases in the world. Then I made this my starting point, and I asked myself, what is, what is the core function I need to achieve? And that is, I have some pencils in my hand, and I need to bring them together. Since I made this my starting point, in the end I designed a tool called end-to-end. -end. It's a small tool that connects two pencils end-to-end, -end, allowing them to move freely in all directions. And this is a how it works. <laughs> and you can carry as many pencils as you want by connecting them together and carrying with you. And when 500 of them are connected, you can play with them and even make structures with them. So by forgetting the old, I was actually come up with something different than a normal pencil case. Was that a pencil case? Maybe not. but. It created a fun and uh, interactive solution to the problem, and probably that's why I got the privilege to go to Japan as a winner. <laughs> last, e last year, I was an exchange student in South Korea in Kais University, and this was my lab. <laughs> uh, by the influence of my professor Bae, I got really interested in philanthropic design. And since I'm a big fan of competitions, I found out about the Index Design Challenge. That year, Index collaborated with UNICEF. They came up with some design topics aiming to improve education in the rural schools. And uh, this idea of improving education using my design skills really got me going. They created this uh, really great long design brief where UNICEF explained the current situation and the problems they had uh, in the rural schools. And one of the topics that I worked on was about the soap maintenance. They said, the problem is the loss of soap due to wastage, displacement, melting, and theft. And the challenge is, therefore, to find a way to present the soap so that it cannot be easily taken away. And when, do you give, when they give you a problem, designers, we, we love problems. We have something to solve. But it, actually, we have to dig into these problems. For a second, I said, is this really about um, UNICEF's problem, it could also be about a nine-year-old kid washing hands in school, right? So now I would like to play a short game with all of you guys. Uh, please close our eyes and close your eyes and imagine that you are a nine-year-old. Yes, close our close your eyes, please, everyone. So now you're at school and you're going to fourth grade and you're in the class, teacher is there. It's break time, right? Everyone is running outside to play, and but you have to go to the toilet now. You go to the toilet, and you do what you have to do. 
you go out and you, through the window you can still hear and see your friends playing and on the other side you see the sink and so the break time is quite short and it's going to be over soon. What do you do? According to a study by the Water and Sanitation Program in Senegal, they realized that only 7% of the kids wash their hands after going to the toilet. And then they asked the kids, why? They said, washing hands takes time from my playtime, and since I wash my hands alone, I feel like it's a boring activity, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> so uh, by looking at the problem from a different angle, we could actually redefine this challenge and maybe it solves more problems than was suggested. With this, with this redefined challenge, I designed soap shish. I was inspired by uh, different means than only soap. I was inspired by a traditional toy, abacus, and shish kebab. I admit that I miss some Turkish food in Korea, so <laughs> this is the effect of that. <laughs> and I designed a huge abacus of soaps, basically. The children can move them up and down, left and right, and play with it, maybe with more than one, pe one, per one people. And uh, this not, doesn't only solve the problem of theft because they cannot take the soap away, but it also creates an interactive solution. And in the end, the biggest aim is to improve hand washing as a habit, not a temporary solution, but create it as a habit in the next generations. And here is a short video from Korea. <laughs> <laughs> That's a quite emotional moment for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I wanted to bring the playfulness of the break time, all this mess and shouting and screaming, right next to the water tap to create a playful moment when they wash their hands. And uh, why, what, what has worked for me as a designer until now is to try to find the right balance between the old and the new. Try to be uh, open to new ideas, not by lim being limited by the old, but also being inspired from different means out of the box. And I believe that this is a way to challenge both ourselves and our teams to be more creative. Thank you.